There it is. There we go. All right. So, as we were saying, um, welcome to this the show, week three. My welcome to the show. What number is um, this? This is 29. yeah, something like that. Um, this is week three of our Kabul nonsense. Um, and like I, I was saying earlier, now that we're recording yet again, I think we got to go to some later fair next week, short of like a, a dirty bomb, you know, blowing up in the middle of Omaha uh, out of retaliation from probably just somebody on our side, because who knows? Um, we got to find something a little lighter. <laughs> You know, we'll we'll talk about our favorite Peanuts characters or something. Well, there's a lot to laugh at with what's going on. I don't think there is. Here. I mean, I'm actually usually pretty optimistic, and I just feel like there's a lot of bullshit going on right now, and I'm I'm growing very weary of just everything that's going on. I've noticed the yeah, last couple of weeks you're kind of drifting this way, Zeus. To the dark side. To the dark side. <laughs> Me? Oh, you're saying yeah. oh, I thought you meant with like oh uh, with uh, oh, you're coming a little uh, right of center the last couple of weeks. Not, I don't want you to get that impression. I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. What I would say is that we are definitely not in a good place. And and this is not to say that we would be better with uh, Trump or anything like that. It's just simply that we're not in a good place. We're in a really pretty awful place. Um, I don't like where things are going. I don't see a lot of positives. I will stick to what I said last time we were, we were here, and that is that we got to quit. I don't really give a shit whose fault it is. Really, I could mm. give a flying fuck whose fault it is. What matters is how. what can we do at this point to fix it? Talking about whose fault it is does no good. Yes, you do have to. There is accountability, and I get that, Mike. But that's secondary to people dying. Um, let's just, let's, let's give a quick, uh, sorry, just a quick yeah. recap of, from where we left off last week. So we've done this is we did two shows on this Afghanistan withdrawal already. And after we went off the air last Wednesday, then we had uh, there's been a lot that's happened since then. So we felt compelled to come back uh, one at least one more time here um, because on Thursday there was the uh, the terrorist attack. Uh, it was quickly developing at first it was like four dead soldiers and then it went up to eight and then 12 and now it's at 13 i'm not sure if it's going to settle on 13 dead uh, service uh, persons um or there might be a, a couple more that are in uh, critical care right now but we had that happen and then um, and the, 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 the not call. to interrupt but that's just who's mentioned at this point i don't trust anybody and to say that it's only 13, it's probably 40. There's probably so many covert little things going on. I mean, dozens, just, dozens injured and scores of Afghans killed. From my understanding, they're just walking through the streets now, just picking off people that they know were. And this is what I said on the first episode. When I was walking into a green, I had literally just seen a meme about people falling out of planes and i was saying this and this is why i keep saying who fucking cares whose fault it is that's besides no. the point we the damage control is what needs to be done and quite frankly uh, that's sending troops back in there and we're, yes there would be a little a little bit of a skirmish here and we might lose a few more lives but i think in the long run the the path of the least resistance at this point that's going to keep our kids from having to deal with this 20 years from now is to get them scurrying like roaches again. These, these just awful people. And I'm talking and over there. I'm talking about the Taliban because 
we we can we can we can uh you know we of course biden made a, a foolish move with this and whoever conspired with him to do this but at the end of the at the end of the day the bad guy the worst guy is the guys that are shooting people in their homes because they just wanted to feed their families okay let's not forget that the taliban are the bad guys here we made a mistake but they're the bad guys fair enough does everybody agree no no yeah, I mean, you don't i don't think it's a mistake and and i i 100 percent disagree I, I don't i think it's it's a it is intentional there are this isn't one decision this is dozens of decisions made with intelligence and information available to them that we're just learning that they had all the way back in June and previous and accountability is again, next to saving the people that are stranded over there. Accountability okay. is the most important thing because if we don't have accountability for this, we don't have yeah, I, I, mean, I didn't argue, but, and, and I'm not getting argumentative with you, but I wasn't arguing that you, you just supported what I said. I said, the most important thing is to fix this accountability. We can address later. Okay. But you okay. said you didn't care about who, whose fault it wasn't. I don't critical. really care right now. We save lives first. Then we, then we deal with who, but the people who are in charge are the ones that are continuing up until today to continue to make wrong headed decisions. So you have an administration, the cabinet, the joint, you know, the head of the joint chiefs, the secretary of defense, all these people are making moronic decisions and Okay. are also all on record, all of them, uh, lying to the American people. Like there is evidence okay. contrary to what they're saying. So I don't trust so, them. How about how about I come home and Ollie has caught no Max is playing more likely to do it. Max has caught the curtains on fire. Right? right. Do I go, Max, did you do this? Or do I put out the fire first? But, and what, then, if, but the firemen, but, what if the firemen are continuing to set the curtains on fire? No, no, but, but, my, but my point being is I don't ask. And then if he says no, I don't address whether he's lying then. I put out the fucking fire. I, I, think, we can, I think we can do but, both. But you, but you see what I'm saying? Accountability it's is very important. Zeus. I think we can do both. I, I don't think it's a binary Max decision. Max says that the curtains are not on fire. That's what's happening. Yeah, that's you a better out, Biden is calling you this still a put success. out the fire before you address the lie. The, the White House is calling this an extraordinary success. They're calling the airlift a success. They're not admitting that anything needs to be fixed. Here's what I'm the fire curtains is still burning. Who yeah. fucking cares if they're lying? Get the fire out. But who's going to do they it? say that? That's that, and, what, and therein what lies, that therein lies like? my problem with everything. That's what we're talking about. I mean, that's so, the, yeah. when, the show. I think me, we're all saying the same thing, no, but, but I'm to not me, trying to get caught up in semantics. I mean, we keep talking about whose fault it is, and it doesn't matter because every day that we talk about whose fault it is, kids, kids no, exactly. are but dying. We, we can't fix it until we make people like who are in charge not be in charge anymore. Like these people, I got to tell you this. Tomorrow, I like to today, I talked to a twenty-seven-year-old Democrat two days ago who thinks this is a fiasco and literally brought up Saigon. A twenty-seven-year-old who shouldn't know anything about Saigon. Um, I talked to a young black lady today about it, and she's like, "Yeah, this is this is." fucking ludicrous and the reason i bring this up is the young people and african-americans are definitely and myself i'm not gonna lie i voted for the wrong guy okay um but i'm, I'm talking to people that should be if they were if this wasn't such a fucking fiasco if there was a little bit of leeway where he could look or feel right um they would be supporting him and they're like this is just a chip but part of this zeus like for alcoholism, step one is to admit you have a problem. I don't have a problem. Not you, but the administration, they, step one for them would be to say, hey, okay, we made a mistake. 
this is not right. This is not a success. This is a problem, but they're not, they're not, they're not on step one yet. Right. That's what we're complaining about. You know, and here at the end of the day, who do we want? Do we want him or do we want Kamala? Because we're not going to get a choice. They are the fire, Zeus. They are. No, the I fire. get it. I get it. I get it. But, but again, this is I, I, and we I think maybe we're just going to disagree. I, I think we we might disagree, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to get angry or hostile about it. I'm just saying, I think that the world is in a shitty place that we're worried about whose fault it is and not about saving people's lives i'm worried about all now of it. now on a yeah but my priority is but, kids dying but and what this does is that based look like of, so what do we this do is based of, i don't know but that's what we should be discussing we kick out the what people that are in charge we put new people in and have them deal with it that's what we do or, or another way to do it would be and this is again back to like what I was talking about last week where it's going to take some dynamic, some crazy thing we've never seen in history where literally the American people rise up on both sides. We quit doing our tribal thing. We've been talking about this from go. We quit being tribal and we say, you better fucking get some troops back in there, get this shit under control and figure out how to leave right. Or it's going to take a bunch of Afghani people walking towards the guns until there's there's more alive people than there are people with guns. You follow what I'm saying? It's gonna we're we're at a point where drastic. This is not going to take pointing fingers. This is the, a this is an era for me. My belief, and this may even lean back to what Dana said a while back. Just a, a little callback about. Maybe we're heading for something beautiful, but something ugly is going to happen. I think I think it's going to take something that inspires the world. Maybe not China, maybe not Russia, but the rest of the world, which is still more than them, to do something drastic. And I'm not trying to cause upheaval. Nobody listens to us anyway, so I'm not really like worried about somebody thinking that I'm going to change the world. But what I am saying is that something we're not we're not at a point where we're wagging the dog is going to do it we're not at a point where getting rid of biden or kamala is going to do it this is going to take something that inspires so many people that it has to change and quite frankly afghanistan's history is a history of being beaten up here's the fucked up thing though taliban's not from fucking afghanistan they're Pakistani. Most of them are from Pakistan. You know, so they they're don't Pakistan. care about being beaten up. No, but they've lived in caves for twenty years. It, it doesn't bother them. You're not if if you knock out the power, they they wouldn't care. But look, they're going to have to be eviscerated the by the people that they're that that they're oppressing. Zeus, we, we're trying to address fixing the problem. Part of the way that you fix it is by putting somebody else in charge. I mean, look at Abraham Lincoln. How many generals did he go through before he got to General Grant? He just kept firing them because they were incompetent. They couldn't, they couldn't fight. They couldn't win. You're fired, you're fired, you're fired until he got to Grant. You know, that sort of thing needs to be happening here. Biden should have been firing these generals who were making these terrible decisions, putting better generals. Oh, in he's there. the one that and made Biden the terrible himself decision. Needs to be accountable. Wait, wait, wait. My understanding is he sat in a room by himself and made this decision practically by himself. So I'm not going to even. Blame. I, I don't know any. Mil- <laughs> I don't know any military that would have done this. Saigon is is. He said he had unanimous history. consent from all the generals. So why would he fire people that were agreeing with him? It, somebody needs to be fired, whether he knows it or not. He may not realize it, but uh, somebody, the heads need to roll. I mean, I agree, but it's to, probably his. To your, to your, like nod towards populism, Zeus. It, I, I would, you know, Tom and I were talking about this before we came on. There has been a, in my estimation, an enormous miscalculation by the powers that be in the administration, the brass, you know, Washington, DC, 
And that is, they think they can like just steamroll anything by using their propaganda arm to like happy talk their way through stuff. And mm-hmm. this is hitting people on a visceral level. There are that's what I'm parents, saying. Hey, man. And, and people, people, they're not going. This isn't going to go away in the next news cycle. And they don't, they don't understand that yet. They're still in full propagandizing mode. And the people that you know, watch this stuff closely, you know, or mm-hmm. watching it closely, but the people that never watch this stuff, they are tuning yeah. in and, and they're pissed and they're not just going to like forget about this. I mean, when you have the parents of these fallen soldiers getting on um, these various interview shows and just laying out, just, it, it's, it's hard to even hear them you know, talk and to know how senseless this is. And you talk about the fire, the fire is the powers that be, it is the administration that that's what we need to put out. Literally, we need to put them out because look, we have a, we have someone in charge of this country in the presidency right now that is by unanimous. I mean, I don't know how I'd love to have someone make their own argument is incapable of doing the work to prove all He's incapable of doing this job. He's incapable. Well, Mike, just quick, when you say put them out, I don't, people are going to. No, yeah. put them out of office. Like they need to go. Right, they need to office. be fired. They need yeah. to be, uh, you know, court-martialed. They need to be impeached. Be they need to go. That wording will get kicked. Yeah. yeah. Talking about by, by, by put them out of office, you don't mean for good. Do you? I meant put them out of office. I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm not like, don't mean I'm not like them. Do you? Go, go in peace. Go in peace. Yeah. I'm saying yeah. this is a representative. This is a representative republic. We are the ones that have the power as the people. We are not serfs. We are not uh, subjects. They are not behaving in a way that the majority of the country agrees with. Can I give you an example? So, like the airlift which the, the administration, they're calling it a huge success. To me, the a huge success would not be needing the airlift. <laughs> well, yeah, number one. Number two would be any airlift where people are not falling from the wheel wells of the airplane to their death. If that's happening, that's not a, a success. That's full airlift. But they're calling it a success. And they're kind of gaslighting everybody. Or try, calling the whole... Uh, withdrawal totally. from Afghanistan an extraordinary success is what it's, Biden calls it. It's a full court crest of gaslighting, Tom. That's exactly what they're doing. Boy, I, we can talk about that after we're done recording all gaslighting. Look, here's the thing. Way back when, when, when we were younger, and you guys, I'm sure you remember the hostages that were taken from the from the embassy in Tehran. Yeah. Like 50 Ronald some, Reagan. 50, 50, they, some, they, 50 some they, Americans. They, they turned him over the morning he was inaugurated. This country pulled together. It was on the news constantly what day it was. Do you remember that? It ended up being 444 days. The only reason I remember it is it was three fourths. It's easy to remember. But every day on the news, they would have this the count. Weird. This is day number 383. <laughs> We have conservative estimates, thousands of of Afghans that worked with the U.S. government that are going to be executed, and at least hundreds of American citizens. And while we have an administration and a press that is saying, oh, man, no, we've got everyone out who wanted to come out. Meanwhile, you've got stories of families that were trying to get to the airport for two weeks and couldn't. You have students from schools and, you know, school in, in South Cal- South, Southern know. California that can't get out. You've got Afghan uh, dual residents that went to American University in Kabul, hundreds of them that not only were not able to get out, even though they tried, but our Can government ask you about handed this? lists of their names and addresses to the Taliban. Right as we speak and doing this broadcast right now, there are scores of people being executed right now, Probably. all throughout. And we only look at Kabul. And you know what? We don't have any press there anymore. But the whole time we did have the press in Kabul, 
there was stories coming in from all the other provinces, door to door executions, the folk singer guy getting shot in the head, left and right. American, how many Americans? Who's the folk done? singer guy? Cat Stevens? Folk singer. He's a popular folk singer. They went to his house, shot him in the head in front of his family yesterday. You're not because, talking about Cat Stevens. No, because the Taliban uh, outlaws, outlawed music. So that, that should say everything about them. What I'm saying is music. what I'm saying is there was a time in our lifetime where 52 people being held, not killed, held by a regime. We it, we could now we have hundreds of American citizens and conservative estimates. American citizens. There's a family from Houston, Texas, that went to Afghanistan to visit the wife's ailing mother. They are trapped there. They tried for two weeks to get out, never got any, you know, they're probably dead. They're, if they're not dead now, they're probably going to be dead soon. These are American citizens that live like next door to you. They and this are. administration problem. doesn't give a shit. Can I ask you about, so this is confusing to me, the students. I, I couldn't understand why these students were there. They're high school students. So I looked it up. There are, they come from like a group of like 1,400 uh, high school students that are refugees that are in Sacramento. So keep that in mind. They're refugees from Afghanistan to start with. Okay. Over the summer, 150 refugees from Afghanistan returned to Afghanistan for the summer. 24 of them are still there. The rest of them got out. I don't understand that. If you're a refugee from a country, you, you why would you go run back to get away from it? Why do you you've got refugee status? Why do you go back? During probably the war? because probably because the government was somewhat stable uh, up until we left it two o'clock in the morning. But do you have your refugee status revoked at that point? If you're willing know. to go back, because I mean. I don't, there's, there's a lot of refugees here and it's a lot to take care of, but if they're going back to Afghanistan, to me, they're kind of saying, okay, we don't want to be refugees anymore. But I'm saying even them aside. He's a refugee. He's a refugee. <laughs> That's a sleepy refugee. Yeah, well, refugee from that. sleepy time. I'm and saying. Because like token appearance. We're being told that, you know, all this, all this rhetorical language of everyone that, all these qualifiers, everyone that wanted to get out, all this stuff. What about and in the meantime, you have reporters, Robert Engel, Laura Logan, all these people that have been there or in and out of there for years. And they're reporting on their contacts. And it's, it's a, it's a, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And this, admins, this president gets up in front of everybody and says, like, this is the best thing that's ever happened. And too many uh, people are going along with that. And I'm like, to Zeus's point, if there's, and I said this last week, if there's not accountability for this, then the, we don't have any accountability anymore. We, we're, this country is in a wor worse, yeah. worse situation than I even thought. If we don't have accountability for this, I mean, we're not just as this is this is not a blame game, but there needs there does need to be accountability. People are dying. You have to, you know, own up to what you're doing. The buck has to stop somewhere. You've got people in the military that are getting online and saying things and losing their careers over it. And how does something like this happen? I don't care where you fall on the spectrum. How does something like this happen? no one's been fired. How's that even possible? The only guy that's been fired was the uh, staff sergeant, I believe, who got on and complained about it. He got fired within two hours. Yeah. But where's where's everyone else getting fired? I mean... And the mother <laughs> of one of the, the dead uh, soldiers got uh, canceled and kicked off of Instagram and Facebook for complaining. Yep. Yeah. I'm saying it's like if people are looking for a time to stand up, it, it's here <laughs> because it's not going to get any easier. If, if this just gets glossed over, which it's I don't think it's going to. And I'm, I can be a pessimist. I don't think it's going to because 
I, this isn't just going away, but if it it's does, gonna, yeah, then what is it? What is it going to take? What's it going to take? It's going to keep coming up, especially during like campaigns and political elections. The public is a little bit different. I mean, I think the public has a short uh, attention span. So there's a, I think what the Biden administration is counting on is that people are going to kind of forget about it and move on to something else and not really have it, at, especially if the media is not there in Afghanistan anymore with video and picture. Maybe we'll get some. Uh, we have we have no media there. We have no intelligence there. We have no air capacity there. We have no boots on the ground. We have no idea what's going on there at all until, it, and look, Someone else said this, but, you know, they, the, the Taliban is a bazillion times more powerful now than they were on September 10th. Yeah. And we weren't at war with them on September 10th. We left 80 plus billion dollars worth of armaments, armaments there. And you know what this administration's comment was about that? Well, th those belong to the Afghan military. Are you freaking kidding me? How is it? <laughs> And again, all they keep bringing up, well, everyone agrees we should get out. It's like, that's not even the question. No right. one's even, no one's even arguing that. But to say that this was an acceptable way of doing it, it's beyond negligence, in my opinion. And I know this sounds crazy. It's purposeful. It's purposeful because you can't, you can't get here through neglect. It's too... There's like 50 decisions and the wrong choice was made all 50 times. To me, that's purposeful. You can't even flip a coin and do that. And that concerns yeah. me. I don't think that we need, that's, that's even an argument. Um, there's definitely, I still, I think on a, just a playing the conspiracy game last week when i was like you know how many how many thousands of weapons were left there that's a huge contract. billion right that's a huge contract for some you know yeah. manufacturer of guns you know that's money lining somebody's pocket there's my belief is much like the masks with covid as soon as masks became expensive you know, COVID's not going away for a while because for, for fuck's sake, man, it's it's become commerce. Now you can take some soldiers out. You can move 125,000 people and and leave 40,000 but or make $800 billion off the weapons. You know, it's not, it's an Occam's razor situation. This seems like it's very much weapons based. I, I like, don't think like, that that was a, a cause for what? for what happened. I don't think that that was a cause for what happened. Or that that but is it in... possible that there's several causes, that it's just one of the reasons? I don't know. I, I kind of think, I was thinking of, because Mike had talked about the, the bad jobs we've had in our past. Has anybody had a, a, a boss or a supervisor that was so bad? They would give you an order and you knew that it was going to screw things up if you did it. But you're like, okay, that's what you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then things will get screwed up. Uh, but you do it anyway because you think it's going to reflect on that supervisor more so than you. And that could be what the generals were doing. Biden's like, you know, I want to pull out right now. They're like, okay, that's what the, you want to do. Tom, to your point, DC is already suffering and has been for decades, as Mick Jagger would say. That's not how you say and decades. I understand that. But DC <laughs> has, we've already been suffering from a complete lack of accountability forever. So Washington, DC is a fantasy land that has no connection to reality. Things that happen inside the Beltway, they, it doesn't make sense. It's a whole different language, it's a whole different culture. And what we are seeing is the results of a lack of accountability because it is career people who are looking at their careers and they're shielded from consequence. And 
if you want to look at any, to your point, Tom, a business, anything, any organizational structure that is shielded from consequence goes down because consequence is that kick in the balls that gets you to fix things. And when you don't have it, you crash into the mountain like that German pilot that just like went, you know, you know, Mach 2 right into the freaking side of the cliff because it, it, there's no accountability. And and again, to, to the point Zeus made, the lack of accountability is the fire. That is the fire that we're dealing with right now. And it is going to pop up. The, the thing that's so scary about this to me, it's take Afghanistan, put it over here. The circumstances that we're dealing with and that God is here are going to get us in bigger problems that are more deadly, that cause more damage than this. This is going to be like peanuts. And and I'm not. And again, on the last episode, it was a Tuesday we recorded it, and I said we are going to see consequences from this, not in months, not in weeks, maybe not even in days. And it was like 30 hours later. I'm just saying. This stuff doesn't sit, this, our enemies, which there are many, are not sitting around like, you know what, maybe we'll do something in a year. They're looking right now, man. It's right now. I mean, when we, we may do another podcast next week because something else is going to happen. And can we talk about the, the retaliation, the quote unquote retaliation for the terrorist attack? So was it, can, was there one or two? retaliation strikes or was it just so, one i th- i believe it was the one and it wasn't well there was two so there was the one where the biden administration said that they um they droned they sent a reaper in and droned a um like a pedal car it's like a motorcycle a try a three-wheel motorcycle um and they said they got a planner and somebody else they won't release the names of the dudes that they killed, which if they were the dudes that did it, they probably would, would be my guess. But we can't know what their names are. According to and, the New York Times, it was not the planner. Right. They Who said knows? it was like a family with like, a, well, it was like 12 a, people, a, a nine, family, think, a bunch, mostly kids. I think it was in addition to those two, they also took out a family of nine or nine people in a family. And then there was another one where they said there was another suicide bomber and they um, blew that up and that had all sorts of collateral damage. But again, they won't release names. I mean, do you think if they had, and we don't have the intelligence, but if they had the intelligence that, you know, uh, Joe Smith was the one that planned this and they had his picture and they killed him, don't you think they'd be telling you his name and putting his picture up? Yeah. Okay. They're not. Only if it benefits them. It all comes. They're down not to saying it. anything, dude. This is this goes back, and again, when Biden, way back in one of our first podcasts, we were talking about the first press conference that Biden had, and I was aghast that the fact that this guy was coming out with a list of reporters with their pictures on it in order, and he's like, "Oh, who am I supposed to call next?" And you know, and I was like, "That that's ridiculous," and they're still doing that. He's like going through like. Okay, they say I'm supposed to call on like Joe Smith. Have you ever seen that before in your entire life? We're not this. Everything that we're seeing from this administration is spoon fed, manipulated. It, it's it's not reality. They're not even trying anymore. It's like Baghdad Bob. Nothing to see here. There's explosions going off like behind them. I mean, did you see guy? Do you see that guy on uh, Saturday? I think it was Sunday morning. He's like a news dude in Afghanistan and Kabul. And he's like their equivalent of like our, you know, I don't know, Cuomo or Wolf Blitzer or whatever. And he's sitting there and he's reading the news and he's like, hey, man, you know, here in Kabul, you have nothing to worry about with the Taliban. Just cooperate with them. Like everything's going to be okay." And like right behind him are dudes standing with like American M4s, like literally in the screen behind him with the guns. It's like a Monty Python sketch. Like, I can't even believe what, and they're American M4 rifles. I mean, it's like unbelievable. It's unbelievable. He's like, nothing to see. Don't worry. Just cooperate with them. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it's, 
it's crazy the level it's at now. And so again, Zeus, accountability is important because I'm not, I never it, said it wasn't. I never but said without it, it, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. I never said it wasn't. I'm saying optimally saving lives first because you can. What my 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 point with the burning curtain thing was that. The curtain is going to continue to burn while you're, and I get what you're saying, and I'm not arguing that that's wrong, but I'm not, but, but I'm more along the lines of it's crying effing shame that we have to do it the way we have to do it. That curtain is burning. The whole house could go down because we have to, because we have to go, but who but, made the curtain burn? No, we no, are but, first break. These guys don't care about the curtain burning. Biden no, doesn't no. care about the curtain you're, burning. You're, you're thinking I'm arguing with you. I'm not. I'm not arguing. I get the I'm pragmatism just, of it. I'm just saying, no, but don't be frustrated. I'm saying. I'm just saying, this didn't just happen out of nowhere, Zeus. This isn't just I didn't here. This was purposeful. This happened through decisions made by people who need to be yeah. fired. You can't walk you know into what? the room and see the curtain burning a gun and to say, my oh, head. I love the redecoration that you did. What a success. That's not you how you respond to it. I, I get it. I'm saying it's a shame. That's all I'm saying. It is a shame. Because, hey, listen, if I'm over there and I got a gun point in my head, I don't give a fuck whose fault it is. I want you to save my ass. But I don't know how we do that now without changing I don't either. Leadership. That was my whole point. I'm not saying I'm saying it's a shame that we have to focus on whose fault it is and not on saving lives. I'm not, not arguing with you. Yeah, no, I'm agreeing. Not- they're not focused on saving lives. That's right. been made very clear, very crystal and, clear. And all I'm saying is that if this was a perfect world and I could, if I could flip a few switches, I'd be like, who gives a fuck? Get some people over there, get shit done, and then let's hang some people. I know, but the, the whole thing was, it was the way the withdrawal was conducted. When, I mean... Biden came out today with a speech and he kept talking about how big of a success the withdrawal was and everybody wanted a withdrawal. He finally ended the war, but he was really missing the point. The point was the way that he ended the war. It was so chaotic. Nah, he wasn't even people missing died the point. He wasn't that giving didn't the have to die. To you talked about saving people. Like you, didn't, you wouldn't have to save so many people if you had not done it this way. If you had done it in a more organized disciplined fashion and kept those conditions in place for the Taliban to keep them at bay. Screw, screw organized How situation. About ethical and compassionate. We we didn't, you know what? The amount of Americans, the amount of Americans we're gonna lose is minuscule to the hmm. amount of innocent people that are gonna die under this horrific Wait. regime. Wait. Yes, there's going to be more innocent people who are in Afghanistan. Look, right now, the vice president of Afghanistan, who is now officially the president in exile of Afghanistan, is launching a resistance in northern Afghanistan. And you know what our head is? What? I said good on him. But you know what you know what our administration is doing to help that guy and with all the people that um, we, we Zero. left 80,000 weapons for the enemy. <laughs> Zero. He's been trying to contact them for over two weeks. They're not returning his calls. That's not an Jim accident. He said that if you text her, she'll respond. She'll get back to you. Who? Who did? Jen Psaki. Oh. He said if anybody wants to get out of Afghanistan, just, you know, text. Just text Jen Psaki. Yeah, leave yeah. me a voicemail. I'll get to you. Um, have your people call my people. <laughs> I mean... Look, and again, this is something someone else said. I didn't say it, but it's humiliating. The federal government exists. Its entire purpose is for the safety, security and preservation of American citizens, life, liberty and pursuit of happiness. They've made a conscious decision to say fuck all to that. There are hundreds, if not thousands of U.S. citizens in Afghanistan. And we just went. When just flew away. That's never, ever, ever, ever happened before in history. That's never happened before. And again, there are consequences to that. There are huge consequences that that we don't even know. That we're not even going to see him right now. We're going to see him 
we're, we're gonna see him, him sooner later. than look last i'm telling you dude we're gonna see him sooner than you think this is not uh, yeah, a long-term thing it's a short game out. It's, it's a it short could be game. like a hostage. Like once a week, they could execute somebody on TV. We have thousands of hostages over there it right go now. Go on and on and on. Thousands and, of hostages. And they were neatly housed in certain areas where they could easily be boxed in. And sure. Joe Biden's administration handed over a list of, with all their names and addresses to the why Taliban. This? What? What? Why did they do this? <laughs> I don't know, man. What they said was. When people were coming to Kabul airport and the Taliban encircled the airport and created, I think, four checkpoints, the Biden administration was like, you know what would help uh, expedite these the people Americans through. coming in? Why don't, don't we give a list of at the door? All the Americans. The bouncer, the list. These are the people. Give the list that they're in. in. And you know what? They didn't let I hope some of them had big breasts. <laughs> and now they have a list of Can people. We get in? <laughs> now they have a list. They have a list of people who were on record trying to get out of the country who couldn't so do you think they're going to be treated really well you think those people are going to get nice cushy yeah, jobs they were on the list on a guest list I don't that's know. why you, you get on the a same guest thing list. with putin where he handed over a list of our vulnerable targets and said he gave it to putin and said please don't, don't cyber attack don't, these targets. don't hit these don't hit these things i mean it's it's it doesn't I'll tell you one thing. Look, I, I can trust you, right? This, this is on a side note. This is a total side note. And I'm not, I'm, I am so anti-violence. It's ridiculous. Anyone that knows me. But do you, if you want to know why we have a second amendment in this country, it's because of shit like this Biden administration is doing right now. That's why we have it. And that's why people aren't going to let it go. And that's why the polling for it is overwhelmingly in favor of keeping it. And the only people that don't like it are the little rugrats inside DC because it's one of the major things that prevents them from running roughshod over everything. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. I, I honestly, there's a part of me that says this kind of idiocy can't, can't be sustained. And therefore... Perhaps something will be done. I'm not saying it will. I'm not saying it won't. I'm saying something's going again, man. Mark my words. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be inspirational and it's going to be massive. And it's going to be not at all. I'm going to have nothing to do with it. So I'm just making that clear on the podcast recording. But something massive is going to happen. It's got to because this shit cannot sustain itself this you know who i don't hear aliens or what what no oh yeah <laughs> i don't think people you're like saying people are gonna you know teach the world to sing and sing in perfect harmony no, no. Gonna 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 be, i think it's gonna be far hands less... across america no no it's I don't not think gonna it's happen gonna be anything like that i think it's what gonna be saying? something drastic and heartbreaking and violent and we're gonna, and people are just gonna say, "Fucking can't do this anymore." This we had that the in backs are gonna break. It, it, we, this we're cannot be what? across the country. No riots aren't gonna be enough for this to change. We've done riots. You are talking about overthrowing the government. I'm taught not ours. No, no. Some it's gonna take are. something. So, Saigon is kind of a good example. We learned from that. That became military 101. The fact that they did this shows that they that they just disregarded American lives, plain and American and innocent Afghani lives. Because we know for a fact you don't bail like this because shit goes south. But when when I'm saying something drastic, I'm not saying pleasant. I'm saying something that moves us all so much that we either go insane or we fucking fix it on a societal level. Um, it takes years to get there. I mean, look at the communists. Uh, you know, it's a weird. 1917, it took until 1989 where people were finally fed up enough. I mean, so millions of people were killed, starved, locked I up. I like in this. Political prisoners, but it took until 1989 before they would just... It was like this groundswell where they finally you, you know what i would like back. in this too 
here's it what takes I would a like long time to. to get there. I would liken this to apartheid. So many people, um, so many people died of of just unnecessary, awful business that finally, and I know it sounds silly, but we had a Bob Geldof, we had this amazing uh, connection of people across the world. Now, this was a positive one. You know, I mean, Live Aid changed the world, man. We got yeah, that, was, got that was the famine in Ethiopia, that apartheid was uh, the Sun well, City. The I'm Sun sorry. City. But well, yeah, but same it, idea. It, it, I got you. It's kind of the same idea. Um, and it, and it, they're not far from each other. I mean, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have meant, I meant, I meant famine in Ethiopia, not apartheid. But, but point being is that so much horrific life had been lost on such a massive level and it was so disregarded and somebody finally like i said we just said we can't continue to watch these people die we as a world have to do things and people did do it that was in wembley that was in la or philly or something it was all across the world people was wembley and in uh i want to say philly i think it was rfk RFK? and i think it was three places um, but point being is it was like the, the boil was lanced. That's where we're at. We got this huge, painful, ugly, red, flaming boil of a world right now. And something's got to happen. I, I'd like to say it's going to be positive, but I really, I really do think it's going to be that wall of people walking towards the guns until until they run out of bullets and then those people just rip them to shreds like something you'd see in a zombie movie i'm telling you that's how this is going to end it's not going to be here but don't you think there's i mean i'm not disagreeing but uh wouldn't you like to uh explore some options before that i don't think we have i i think I mean, we're so it's like millions of people running towards machine guns like that's where, that's where we're at deep. now i'm just talking about people losing their jobs man okay. that's all yeah. I want. how about this that's all i, I want this which I just want people getting fired. I'm not the saying I want of this. Afghanistan could be I'm like not, the, the guy in Tiananmen it, Square that stood in front of the tank. But it, I'm yeah, saying it doesn't take along that. Along those lines. The, I could see the women kind of getting together, holding hands. But you know what? Hey, let's be frank. Guns. That guy in Tiananmen Square, you know what he accomplished? He accomplished getting God. He didn't change okay, much. Still, There's no, still he fucking, was an inspiration for. He was an inspiration, but China is still China now. But there's no cameras in Afghanistan right now, and we live and die by the camera. And you're but not going to see stories. Thing. You're not going to see stories. I get stories what you're saying. Yeah, maybe some people should the lose murders. their jobs. But which do you think is more likely, violence and upheaval, or the right thing being done? I think we have mechanisms in this country to impeach this president right fucking now, and we should do it. Like, and the, I, I don't know how you don't do it. I don't know how we don't do what it. What does an impeach someone do? for they a don't freaking to... phone call, man? I mean, this is. This is direct impeachment. What good is impeachment? Because it gets them out of there, dude. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Trump was impeached. Clinton was impeached. The only person that was ever impeached that left was um, Nixon. Okay, so if we can't do it, then we shouldn't do it. I'm just saying someone was impeached for a fucking phone call. This guy is directly responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American citizens. And if you can't, and not you, Zeus, I'm saying if people can't like get their head out of their ass for five seconds and realize the situation. I, I don't know, man. It's not about storming machine gun nests. It's about, I don't know. I don't know how this guy gets protected from That's accountability. Again, I hate to say it, but we're fucking, the whole world is uninspired. It, we are. We just fucking point us where to go. Tell us what to do. We don't do anything that we're not told to do through clicks and blinking lights on our Facebook pages and ticker tapes on the bottoms of the TVs. Tell me I'm wrong. What do we do on our own anymore? You know what? One thing I'll say about myself, I'm fucking unique. I don't fucking. Um, yeah, I have certain parts of my life that are a fucking wreck. But, you know, I say what's on my mind and I never back down from it. It just I, takes I, speaking up. I, it just I don't takes look, speaking up. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying most people are uninspired. Most people we don't know to what to do. We have to be a small group of inspired people, but... But what but happens, they, Zeus, they, when, when you speak up, like the, the mother of the uh, soldier that got killed, 
and then she they got canceled, canceled her everywhere. Instagram account. They canceled her Facebook account. They they canceled a gold star mother on Facebook. No, I know about this. Okay, this okay. Is what I'm saying is prevent, they're trying to why press listen, us listen down. for anyone that the, the the twos or threes of people that are watching this and not to be <laughs> the dude from network. Okay. <laughs> Why the fuck are you still on Facebook? Who the fuck is still on Facebook? Get off of Facebook. We can't Why are you on YouTube? Facebook? Could, it's a you, fucking you, evil, evil fucking company. Like, I don't oh, know what it's going to oh, take oh, for oh, people oh, to realize oh, that. I, I they can own, the listen, of the episode. I they can the only have the power the if you're on there. Hold on. I meant to say at the beginning of the episode. Like us on YouTube and Facebook and subscribe. Like us on Facebook. <laughs> if you're on Facebook, you are your head's in the sand. Your head's in the sand, and you you don't have the right to be questioning about why everything's so fucked up. That's my okay. editorial. Well, no, if you're always on Facebook, please like us on Facebook. By the way, yes, like us. <laughs> it's the Friends of Zeus podcast on Facebook. I mean, you're Which talking about what you directly can to do? YouTube. Who's you're talking about what people does nothing wrong. <laughs> you're, talk, you're talking about what people can do. People have a lot of power that they don't even realize, man, in numbers. Well, and that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's probably going to be more my way, not my way, personally, but I think it's probably going to go more that violent trend and not. I think people are inspired by sacrifice and bravery and thinking through you know you know you know through um through cerebral means i mean nobody's been inspired for a very long time i think i think it that i keep i know i know you think that i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not voting for this this is just what i see look at I get look at rome look at rome nothing you know when it changed when they took tablets and beat them to death with them. Like like iPads? In the Senate, yes, like iPads. No, but do you know what I'm saying? That's what changed Rome. That's what brought Rome down. If we really get down to it, it's when the, was it the plebeians just beat the living shit out of the Senate and, and changed the way things were done. People started to fear. They couldn't just do shit anymore because people knew where they lived. They had addresses. I think that's, Zeus, that's more of a long game. It's no, I think that's the quick years. short game. The Roman Empire lasted for hundreds of years. The communist regime in Russia lasted for almost a century. We're talking about, you know, what can happen. Wait, how long do you say the Roman term? Empire was? The what? Thousand how years. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, it was a very long time. A thousand years. But you know you know what would be a really good... I thought it was good, more like 300, but still. You know what would be a really good, uh, like, medicine to help everything out? Accountability. That would be great. That would help things out a lot. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, there's it would never help been a, lot. a wealth of that. There's never been a wealth of that through history. Um, it comes eventually. You know what? Accountability is great, but what usually happens is people are held accountable. Nobody actually says, you know what? I'm going to own my shit. They always had have to be made. Well, to yeah, own. held accountable. I mean, I'm not you saying, I'm not, I'm not asking for about stories. I, I'm asking they, for Congress, you know, a co-equal branch of government, to step up and do their job. You know what? I Say what you will about Nixon. Good, bad. He actually said, you know what? I'm going to bow out, and he resigned. Was he forced? Fine. But you know what? In my lifetime, I've seen two, and I'm sure I'm going to see a third impeachment. Um, You've seen three. Um, what? Trump was impeached twice. Well, I'm saying two political figures. Two presidents. Um, Even I'll, though I'll he wasn't president. And, I'll see, and we'll see a third, because I'm sure Biden's going to get impeached, too. I mean, there's um, a phrase, the buck stops here. And that would Biden's, have been like, Franklin Delano phrase. Roosevelt, FDR. I think it was. Up here. I want to say it was like Coolidge, maybe, but uh, no, it, was, it wasn't. I don't think it was Roosevelt. Like, Biden, it was is, Biden is a weak and weak-minded man, and he has no business being president of this country. You can't say the buck stops here and then, in the same breath, blame somebody else for what's going on. And that's what he's doing. It's totally what he's doing. 
I think I think all of them are, are pieces of shit, and I'm done with. I I don't know that I want to vote anymore. Well, <sighs> not Sorry. everyone not would do option. this. Zeus, not everyone would do this. Obama wouldn't do this. Obama didn't do this. Obama wanted to get out of Afghanistan. And his, uh, the people around him said, if you're going to do this, it's got to be conditional. You can't just pull out. And Obama, to his credit. He said, I'm Obama. I never listen, listen, Obama, <laughs> to, his, to his credit, because even though I'm not, I'm no fan of Obama, but the guy at least was a leader, Right. He was a leader. He wasn't a coward. He wasn't a coward. So what Obama did in 2014 was he was like, listen, I'm going to pull the combat troops out. I'm going to keep at that time, I think it was four or five thousand, uh, you know, CIA specialists, um, American contractors that could fix the fighter jets and the Blackhawks and all that stuff and trainers and, and guys that could like train the, the military. And he kept all those guys in there and he created a level of stasis where you didn't have the Taliban running all over the country, creating like a terrorist hotbed that we had no intelligence in, but he wasn't losing American troops either. And he was keeping like a few thousand people in there and the Mm -hmm. Afghanis were dying since 2014, 50,000 people in the Afghan army were killed. All right. And fighting. That's not a small number. And when Trump went in, he was like, I got to, you know, Mr. Non-Interventionist, I want to get out of Afghanistan. And all the people in the know were like, listen, man, I get it, but you got to keep, you, you, you can't just pull out. We got to keep it like this. So Trump came up with the whole plan to pull out under conditions where all these things had to be met. It's like 16 pages long. Everyone should read it. And if one of these things weren't met, then we're going to keep the people in there. And this misnomer that like, well, we're just, Biden just did what Trump set up. That's such a freaking, it's a total lie. It's not even a matter of opinion. He would have never pulled out under these circumstances. He would never have got, it would have never gotten this far because they weren't meeting the conditions. Listen, Biden I know. comes in, he sees the 20th anniversary of 9-11 coming up and he's such a simpleton. He, this man does not he deserve to be president. He's such a simpleton. He just wants the optics of being out by September 11th. He doesn't care. And everyone I, tells good him, Lord, this is a bad good idea. Lord, I hope you're wrong. And he's like, do it. Get out of there. I just want to be out. I just want to be able to say, and today he got his little speech where he could say the 20 year war in Afghanistan is over. And that's Christ, what it was all I about. Hope. It's all he cared about. I hope Trump that was you accused are wrong. of being the reckless one. People were saying, "Oh, can, we can't trust Trump with his, you know, with the nuclear weapons, and he's too reckless." Trump was not reckless. I mean, he was very uh, deliberate. No, he was he just a blowhard. The situation, but Biden, yeah. it was chaotic and reckless, and people died needlessly. And will we're continue not, to we're die. Not near, you shouldn't even say people died yet. People are going to die. People have the, been the, dying. The Thirteen. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying this doesn't even touch. How many people will die. die? Well, yeah. This will look. Biden, Biden, took a, Biden took a Biden took a thirteen-year war that turned into a uh, additional seven-year um operation occupation whatever you want to call it peace sort of and thing he just turned it into a 40-year war we are very we are more in war right now than we were a month ago this is yeah, not I, we can't just you can't we're not just getting out and be like you know what the war's over we're done they you we surrendered unconditionally they're not done with us they're not done with us oh no this war, this is just starting, dude. We just turned the page. This is all going to go crazy again because we couldn't deal with having 2,500 to 3,000 people in there. And it, that's all it took to keep things cool. That's, that's all it took to keep things cool, man. It was, it was the finger in the dike. The that's finger in the dike. And I didn't know about it. And I don't know if Tom knew about it. I don't think Zeus knew about it. And you know why? Because our press sucks and they never fucking explained it. And so no one knew it. And now here we are. And when you have a electorate that's getting lied to and propagandized to and not being given the facts to make their own decisions, this is what you end up with. This on right here. Note, on that note, fellas, 
I got to leave. That was an excellent way to leave. I get what, I mean, I, I think that we're all, we all want the same thing. We just want different. We, I look at it different than you guys. I, 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 agree I know. I agree with you, Zeus. I'm, I'm just saying it's, it's both. We can do both. We can, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. Really? Can we though? Can we? I can't, but we can. I don't know that we can. He, he can, can walk. walk and I will chew gum. Tom could walk and I'll chew gum. <laughs> I can't do both. Oh my God. And Mike, we got to talk. You were supposed, we were supposed to talk. I couldn't talk yesterday, but we got to talk about certain things. I can stay on. on. Yeah. We should. I can't. Cause I got, I got to, I got to go. Okay. Um, maybe I can call you on the phone. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cause I got to roll out of here. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just, I'm really disheartened. I'm trying to maintain my optimism. I think the world is in a very weird place and I hope that I never hoped I'd be in a situation like this. I mean, we're at a point now where Clinton looks like a masterful politician who by comparison is probably one of the better presidents we've ever had. He, I mean, for what it's worth, he did some good things and also got a blowjob in the in the White House by a hot there, young. There's man. no there's no president uh, before Biden that would have done this. He, he is no. in the class by himself. Right. I now. will always make this argument that Bill Clinton dropped more bombs on Bosnia Sarajevo than were than were dropped in the entire Vietnam War. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he was successful. That's the other thing. He Milosevic said. All right, done. I'll go to court. <laughs> you know what I mean? For what it's worth, what, Clinton was I, actually pretty effective. I got to hear Tom's takeaway because what, what's your takeaway, Tom? Takeaway Tom, that's his new nickname. What, what's your what's your rap? <laughs> you got the last I, word. Uh, this was a mess. It was avoidable. Uh, there does need to be accountability. I don't know if we'll get it. Uh, with the Democratic Congress and a de Democratic president and a friendly press towards the president um, and a big tech that's shutting people down that are speaking out against it. So but is the it, accountability but, well, may not happen, but um, it, it's it's going to be a burning ember that's going to hopefully survive until it, it it can something can be done about it. And, and to what you're saying, I see, and this is why I think we have a, and I'm not trying to diss you on this. I don't think big tech is doing it. I think it's the other way around. I think big tech is run by the people in charge and they tell them who to cancel. Hey, boss. Well, that's, I mean, you want us? well no, but it's, it's still they, a problem either way. No, but, but, I, but I there think is, they're, there's a distinction. They're, I think they're willing. To be made. I think Facebook they're willing. Facebook deleted the account of Gold Star Mother. But do you think for, do you for, think they speak, give a shit? for speaking out in the, them, in America in uh, the in thing, the United States? The thing though, Mike, for them that's clicks. They don't give a shit about that. What they do? I, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What they do give a shit about is legislation that that starts taking away their power. So if somebody up above says you need to blacklist her, they're going to do it so that legislation doesn't go through to keep them from getting those clicks that make them money. Are they unethical? Yes. Do they run the planet? No. I think that they are run by, I don't think, I think they are the, the dog and the, I think that's how you say it. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're the ones being whacked. Facebook well, deleted the account of a gold star mother because for they were speaking out to. against the administration. That's all I got to say. All right, guys, I have got to roll. They're kicking me out. All right. Take care of me. Okay. I'll call so you in a second. Okay. 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 I will pay you right now. No You're not so bad yourself.